Hi, Anthony Sequera here with CBT Nuggets. In this micro nugget, let's take a quick look at what has changed in the new CCNP version 2.0 for route switch, and that's from Cisco Systems. As you're probably aware, the CCNP routing and switching professional certification deals with three main exams and courses. We have route, we have switch, and we have T-shoot. Now, certainly the most has changed in the route arena. Here you can see the previous version. Let me grab a smaller pen. That'd be nice. And then you can see here the new version side by side. So look, there's a lot that remains the same. EIGRP, OSPF, BGP, redistribution, layer three path control, GRE. If you've been studying for the current, let's call it the current route version one, all of these are gonna translate into version two with one exception. Broadband takes a back seat in the new exam. So we don't have to brush up on all those different types of broadband and get into detail and things like DSL and things of that nature. But notice there is a dramatic expansion of your topics in the new route. Cisco looked at their scaling back that they did in route version one, and apparently they didn't like that very much. Notice I've got in green, meaning a new topic, IPv6. You might say, well, wait a minute, Anthony. It was in version one. I wanted to highlight it here in green for you because it is a much deeper, much richer exploration of IPv6. Notice RIP version 2 and RIP next generation are formally added to route version 2, as is the DMVPN and the easy virtual networking features. Notice this replaces the VPN basics that we had in route version 1. Then network principles, things like, oh, inferior paths that might be taken in your network and things like how TCP and UDP function at a very low level. Point-to-point -point protocol and CHAP are introduced. Frame relay is introduced, and I really can't say it without laughing. Virtual routing and forwarding light is here. A lot regarding routing type layer three security mechanisms, and finally, a whole bunch of services like NAT, and DHCP and network time protocol, just to name a few. For the full list of services and security features that are tested, of course, you can visit the official exam blueprint at cisco.com. Next up, it's our switch course and exam. With switch version one, one of the interesting things was Cisco decided this is where they were gonna give some coverage to wireless voice over IP and video technologies. You can see they changed their mind. That's right, so we've got VLANs including trunking, spanning tree protocol and port channels, layer two security, switch based layer three, and high availability. High availability being things like HSRP, GLBP, and VRRP. I feel like suddenly I'm on my daughter's cheer team. But anyways, so everything kind of remains the same there, but then notice there was a drop of these technologies and instead we have switch administration features like setting up SSH and setting up administrative templates on the switches, span and R span for monitoring frames inside your infrastructure, stack-wise technologies, and layer two protocols like CDP, for instance, and other protocols that we're gonna want to be able to verify and configure at layer two. So once again, an elimination of some technologies and an expansion of pure, more pure switching topics, I would say, with our switch version two. And of course, the CCNP routing and switching 2.0 rounds out with the two T-shoot class, which is of course short for troubleshooting. In version one, we had maintaining and monitoring things like IP SLA would be a great example of a technology that's tested there. Notice that translates directly into our version two. So what's different? Well, the T-shoot version one would then see your ability to troubleshoot all of the version one topics from switch and route. 
Well, guess what? That's exactly what happens here for the rest of this body of work. It's going to be the version two switch. It's going to be the version two route that you are going to be responsible for troubleshooting. So all of those topic domains that we saw in the previous two slides in this micro nugget, you're going to need to be able to demonstrate your ability to troubleshoot those particular topics. Well, in this micro nugget, we took a look at the new CCNP routing and switching certification. It's version 2.0 from Cisco Systems. We went side by side on the topics for route, switch, and T-shoot. I sure hope this micro nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.